What's up Laravel developers and welcome back to this new mini series where we'll have a look at Laravel Jetstream, which is an authentication system like Laravel Breeze, but then on steroids. Quick pause, I'm currently working on a new Udemy course where we'll dive into Laravel databases and Eloquent. If you think that there is a topic that should most definitely be included, feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. If you would be interested in the course or just want to support the channel, make sure that you follow me on either Twitter, Instagram or YouTube to be the first one to find out when the course gets released. Before learning Laravel Jetstream, it is recommended that you have used Laravel Breeze before. It's not required, but it does make the process a lot easier. I have a 45 minute Laravel Breeze tutorial available, which I will link in the description down below. Now most Laravel developers have worked with Laravel Breeze before, which is an authentication system, as you could see right here, that generates a register page in the forward slash register endpoint. But it also generates a login page which you can access through the forward slash login endpoint. Once you log in, you will get access to the dashboard. Now, once we log in with the registered user, let's give it a try. You will see a simple dashboard where in the top right corner, you have the option to select your own profile, which gives you the option to see your profile information. You can update your password and you can delete your account. Nothing more than that. A Laravel Breeze is beautiful, but it is a pretty simple Laravel authentication scaffolding created with Tailwind CSS and Blade templates, which is famous for its simplicity. Now Laravel also offers Jetstream, which like I said, is Laravel Breeze on steroids. And the interface looks pretty similar. Jetstream offers what Breeze has to offer, but on top of that, it even offers two-factor authentication, API tokens, session management, API through Laravel Sanctum, and the option for team management features. Just like Laravel Breeze, it has been designed using Tailwind CSS, but it gives you the option to either use LiveWire or Inertia scaffolding. It has a beautiful register page, which is similar to Laravel Breeze's register endpoint, and it has a login screen, which is also pretty similar. So let's log in and see what the difference is. Right here, you will see that we have been redirected to the same dashboard endpoint where we have the option in the top right corner to select our name, where we can manage our account. So let's click on profile, where you pretty much find the same options. But once we scroll down, you will see a lot more information for your account management compared to Breeze. We can update our password, we can enable two-factor authentication right here. It has a browser session where we could log out other browser sessions and we could simply delete our account. On top of that, you could even create Laravel Jetstream for Teams where you have a new extra option in the top right corner next to your name called Codes Team where you have multiple options. You have your team settings, you can create a new team or you can switch between teams. Interesting, isn't it? Let's start off by installing our Laravel Jetstream scaffolding inside a new project. So let's navigate to the CLI. And I usually create a Laravel project using a Laravel installer tool. So let's run Laravel new and let's name our app Jetstream app. Let's hit enter. This might take a moment because it's pulling in Laravel. All right, our Laravel application has been installed. So let's change directories into our newly created Laravel application by saying CD Jetstream app. Now, what we have done so far has not created or added Laravel Jetstream for us. In order to do that, we need to use Composer right inside of our project directory where we could run Composer, require a package from Laravel itself forward slash with the name of Jetstream. What this will do is simply adding Jetstream into our current Laravel project. We do need to install it as well, which goes through the PHP artisan Jetstream colon install command. But wait a moment, since we could add a front-end stack right here as well. Now, like I've mentioned before, Laravel Jetstream supports two front-end stacks. You could install your Jetstream front-end as Inertia, or you could decide to add LiveWire. Now, both stacks support an additional flag, which is dash dash teams, which will implement the teams functionality I've showed you a moment ago, where we reviewed Laravel Jetstream. Finally, it even allows you to use pest PHP for testing by adding another flag, which is dash dash pest. What this does is simply installing a pest test suite instead of the default PHP unit test suite that Laravel supports. The stack that you are going to use is completely up to you. I will stick to a live area for this tutorial. So let's hit enter right here. Now that it's installed in Laravel Jetstream, we could quickly navigate to PHP Storm. Since I've already opened my project, because we do need to set up our database credentials inside the .env file. 
So create your own database and change up the database credentials inside the .env file where we have our database credentials. The only thing that I need to do is add my password right here of dari1234. Let's navigate back to the CLI. Since we're going to persist users inside our database, we need to run the php artisan migrate command, which will migrate all of the migrations for us. As you might see or notice right here, it has migrated more than the four default migrations for us. It has added the two-factor column for the two-factor authentication functionality. It has added a team's table. It has created a relationship table of our team user. It has created a team invitations table and it has created a sessions table for us. In order to finalize the installation and to make it work, we need to build our front-end scaffolding, which can be done through the npm install command and then running the npm run build command, which will build the front-end assets. And since I'm using Laravel Valet, I could run Valet link to link my project so I could open it inside the browser. So let's actually do that. Let's navigate to Google Chrome. Let me actually close off the tabs that I have. Let me navigate to JetStream app.test. As you could see, it has pulled in Laravel with a login and register button in the top right corner. But let's actually change our endpoint to forward slash dashboard, which will redirect us to the login page. And this is happening because Jetstream uses a middleware. Let's quickly navigate to PHP Storm, open the routes directory, the web.php file, and right here, you will see that we have our forward slash dashboards endpoint, which has been wrapped inside of an odd colon sanctum middleware. And the user needs to be verified before he can proceed. So let's navigate back to Google Chrome and let's change our endpoint to forward slash register. Let's create a new user with the name of code with Dari. I have my email, my password. Let's click on register. And as you could see, after our registration, we have been logged in as well because we have access to the forward slash dashboard endpoint right now. Now let's change the logo that we have in the top right corner and the one that we have inside of our dashboard. Because at the moment, it is using Laravel Jetstream's logo. Before we could do that, we need to publish LiveWire its Blaze components through the CLI. So let's navigate to iTerm and let's call the PHP Artisan command, vendor colon publish. We're going to add a tag right here, which is equal to Jetstream dash views. Let's hit enter. All right. There are three files that we need to customize right here. The logo in the top left corner, right here, the logo inside of our dashboard, and the logo inside our login and register endpoint. Now the logo in the nav bar is stored inside the assets we published from the vendor directory into our resources directory. So let's open it. Let's open the view subdirectory where we have a published vendor directory where we have our components and right here, we need to start off with the application mark.blade.php. Now we could use a SVG right here, and I honestly can't be bothered doing that. So I will just create an image tag right here with a source of my own website. And this is completely up to you what you want to use. So let's say blog code with dari.com forward slash cwd underscore logo.png. Now let me actually outline this on the line below. I'm gonna add a width right here of 100 pixels and the alt tag is application logo. The second component that we need to customize is the application logo.blade.php. Let's actually remove the file, copy the application markdown blade image tag, paste it right here. Now let's change the width right here to 90 pixels. All right. Now there's one more file that we need to change, which is the application card logo right here. Now let's paste the same image right here. Now let's navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, and you'll see that our image or logo has been added in the top left corner and inside of our dashboard as well. Now I think that the logo is a little bit too big, so let's navigate to PHP Storm and let's change our application mark to let's say 70 pixels. All right, that looks a little bit better. Now the last thing that I want to change before I continue on with the next chapter is customizing all the indigo colors to the same color as my logo. So all the blue purple-ish colors that you see. 
And I don't want to do that manually, but PHP Storm offers a find and replace functionality which I want to use. Let's navigate back to PHP Storm. Now let's close off the entire resources directory. Let's right click right here and let's say replace in files. What we want to replace is indigo and it has found how many matches? 21. And we want to replace it with let's say yellow. So let's hit enter a couple times. Now if we navigate back to Google Chrome and refresh it, you'll see that the colors have disappeared, but they're not gold yellow-ish. And that's happening because we need to compile our assets. So let's navigate to the CLI and let's actually keep it building through the npm run dev command. All right, let's navigate back to Google Chrome. Once we refresh it, you will see that all indigo colors have been replaced with a yellow slash gold-ish color. Now this was it for this tutorial. We have looked at the differences between Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream. We have installed Laravel Jetstream to Composer. We then changed the application logo, followed with changing up the primary color of our application. In the next video, we will enable email verification when users register to our application. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button.